Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. This is my tech channel. The last couple of weeks, we've been looking at all manner of exciting stuff to do with optical media for archive and backup. People think optical is pointless. People are wrong. It's still very useful for cold storage, uh, particularly the uh, the archival grade media like the MDisc, etc. Um, so I looked earlier in the week at a Linux program, and I know most most folks aren't on Linux, but uh, for those who are, it's called it's a great little thing to know about. It's called DVD Disaster, and this can be used to proactively try to protect your data in the case of corruption. Uh, DVD, DVD Disaster works by, um, well, it can do a few things. It can scan your disks firstly, so you can check, are there any, is there any corruption? But uh, prevention is always better than cure, as we know. And one of the things it can do is generate what's called ECC, error correction code. ECC is basically code that can be used to uh, correct a corrupted, corrupted data on the disk. Uh, and we saw yesterday there are three types of it in DVD disaster. There is RS01, which is ECC code that you're supposed to store off the disk um, and that can be used later to try put things back together. RS02 is what they call augmenting. And we looked at it yesterday, uh, but I didn't actually burn a CD with the augmented code. So just to be really thorough, I said I do that. RS03 will can be used for both you can use it for uh, filling up the disk, but it has to fill up the whole uh, media if you generate it like that. Uh, so it's going to make the file bigger. So we're actually going to look at RSO3 today as it's the last one we haven't we haven't looked at yet. So what I'm going to do is uh, open up DVD Disaster. Sorry, the first thing I'll do is make this into an ISO because uh, DVD Disaster likes to work at the ISO level. So I'm going to call this myopticalapproach.iso, even though it's only one... Uh, file in the ISO, right? Usually you'd be burning a few things to a CD. Uh, but that's the first first step is let's get it into an ISO format so the DVD disaster can work with it. Next, let's uh, pop open DVD disaster here. And what we're going to do is point it to the ISO. Uh, test CD 0124 ISO. Lovely. And now what we're going to do, we have to change into RSO3. So you need to go into preferences, you need to go into error correction, and there you have your options. RSO1 is for the error correction file to be stored not on the disk. RSO2 is for augmenting, which is going to be like baking it into the file and a little bit of redundancy. And this is a multi-threaded RS codec in which um, it's going to be expanding up. So by default, you store the ECC data in the image itself. That means that will blow up the ISO until it's uh, until it is at the capacity detected for the storage media, the nearest capacity. But you can change store ECC data over to a file, and that will put it into a file. Um, which should you do? That's a question up to you. But let's do image. Uh, let's just do image today. Maybe we'll do other videos showing how to do it in a in a. Um, in a, in a file. So I'm going to go create. I have the ISO and we're going to just... So watch what is going to happen now. We're creating the ECC data. Okay, lovely. It's finished. Now the image is... So we go back to the test CD. Remember this thing that was 100 megabytes? What you know? It's now 100, 700 megabytes. So we've added um, ECC code and we filled that up to the size of a CD. So I'm going to pop in a CD now and put this on. Okay, my optical media has gone into my computer drive. I'm just using kind of cheap CDs for all this kind of testing process. You can see the blank CD has been picked up. K3B is come up here on my other screen. I'm going to call this, uh, today is a 26260101. Bring in K3B here so you can see it. And the free size is 702. So it's just filled it up almost to capacity. <clears throat> and... Uh, it's an ISO image uh, directly. So yeah, when, whenever you try to burn a uh, burn this onto Ubuntu, uh, onto K3B, it's going to detect that it's an ISO and it's going to say, do you want to burn it as an image or do you want to add the file to the uh, add the file to the project? So I'm actually going to go for add the file to the project uh, for the reason that because we've already baked the ISO in, um, we'll do the separate error correction code in the next video. So it's within one megabyte, basically using up the whole disk. Uh, we've called it a name and then the final thing to do is just to burn it and you've got your CD, uh, you've got the image, we've got the 
error correction code ECC uh, baked into the image and now we are ready to uh, ready to write and that'll be it uh, for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful.